All right, three, two, one, here we go. This is Len Nevin, Loyalty Home Group. I just wanted to get at you. It's been a couple of weeks since I've been on here. I've been pretty <laughs> busy. Um, but anyways, wanted to talk a little bit about market, market updates, what's going on, what's happening, um, all of the above. So let's get started. Um, what is going on in the market? Um, it depends on what market you're talking about. So real estate market, stock market, um, mortgage rate market, whatever you want to call it. Um, things are moving, you know, it's, uh, it's November now. And most people kind of say, well, you know, things slow down, but I beg to differ. Things are just as heated now as they've been for probably quite a while. Um, we're not really seeing too much signs of a slowdown. You know, I was talking to a buyer that I'm working with, um, uh, this morning and I sent them a property yesterday around 4 PM. I said, Hey, this one just hit the market. This one looks really good. Um, I think we should definitely take a look at it. This morning, he's like, yeah, that looks great. Let's go check it out. Log down real quick. Already sold. Say what? <laughs> Hit the market at four. And by, you know, 8.30 in the morning, it was already under contract. So my conversation with him is I was like, look, when I send you something, like, we got a chop and a chop. Um, so we're still seeing that type of activity. Now, this place was immaculate. I'm not going to lie. It had, it, you could tell it was just completely new, new paint, renovated. All that stuff priced well, um, probably got full asking price. Wouldn't doubt it. I highly doubt if they accepted a contract that quick that they got run up ahead above list price. Um, that usually takes a couple days of negotiations. Um, so if you see something that goes on a contract that quick, probably just got what they were wanting. So, anyways, let's talk about mortgage rates because that's the um, the first thing I want to talk about. So every Thursday, Freddie Mac on their website, they basically kind of refresh and say, hey, here's where mortgage rates are at. You know, it goes up and down every day, but every Thursday say here, you know, here's where it's at. So let's go and take a look at that here real quick. Um, this should switch over without too much of a problem. And there we are. All right, cool. So um, like it says right here, mortgage rates fall back. So right here, November 7th, that's today. It's 1107 here in the Phoenix market. Um, you guys probably are finally coming out of your fog or you know, enjoying your extra sleep from daylight savings time if you live anywhere but here. Um, but here's where we're at. So right now we're back down to 3.69. And you can see that we've got about a one-year glance here. So a year ago, we were itching and hitting in the 5%. So you can see it was at 4.94 um, a year ago exactly. So here we are a year later. It's not one point less. It's more than one point less. So it was 4.94. If it was one point less, it would be 3.94, but it's at 3.69 today. Um, and it's been kind of slowly going down, and then it would go up, and then it would go down, and it would go uh, flat, and go, and then went up. And it, so it hit 3.73 about uh, two months ago, then it dropped back down to 3.57, then it's inched back up. So last week, it was at 3.78. And so 3.78 down to today at 3.69. So what does that mean? Um, you know, it was interesting because last week what ended up happening was we 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 saw that the the Fed dropped the basis rate by another 25. Sorry, with the the main rate by 25 basis points, and then this this rate went up. Um, you know, these rates are going to, especially when you're looking at mortgage rates, um, you're going to see those go up based in off of demand, supply, all that stuff. And so when you see it going up, that's typically what I've seen is that you can see that, you know, things are going pretty good. And so, you know, the, the banks are looking at it and saying, well, you know, this is how we make our money. Why not make some money off of this? So that's kind of where you see that go up. And so if it starts to slow down even the slightest, their job is to jump ahead and get in there and just, you know, make sure that they get it squashed and keep the, you know, the applications going and applications for everything I'm reading is really good. I highly recommend just saving this website right here, freddiemac.com slash PMMS. Um, you know, it, it updates every week, gives you a quick little description. It's like after a year long slide, mortgage rates hit a low in September, da, 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 went back up, now it's back down. It's basically what it was down to. But feel free to jump in there, take a look at it. It's a, it's a great little report and it gives you a lot of insight as far as what's going on. So definitely highly recommend that. Um, let's talk stock market for a quick second. Um, Dow Jones is currently where are we at um, up 238 points at 27,731. That is as of 
a minute ago. So this thing has kind of, you know, been doing this. Let's see if I can get the the five minute. So it's been kind of doo -doo 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 -doo, bouncing and then it like started the day here and then at 27 and then boom, shot up and you know, here it is. So this was yesterday, this is today. And it's been sitting here and hit a high here of 27.70 and now we're at 27.31. Um, you know, the, everything's related, right? So if you read why it went up like this, so China agreed to basically waive a bunch of tariffs and obviously the stock market went crazy. What's interesting is when the stock market goes up, there's certain things like heavy precious metals, things like that go down. So one of the things that I've learned to follow is gold. And right now what we're seeing with gold is gold is having a bloodbath today. So if you have any, uh, of course now it's blanking out on me. So we'll go back to here while that's loading up. Um, if it loads up anyways, uh, that's kind of what's going on with that piece, right? So real estate. So let's get the Phoenix market here real quick. I'm going to drag this over here so you can take a look at it. Um, Here's what's going on in the overall Phoenix market, according to a 50 mile radius out of the center of Phoenix. Um, basically, the average list price in the Phoenix market right now is 335, 342. Average days on market is 60. That's from top list to close. So, you know, could be like 30 days to get on a contract, another 30 days to close. Um, we're seeing a decrease, not a big one, but a decrease in new listings. Um, and we're seeing a decrease in sold listings. This is more, to, this is a 30 day period, right? So this is not year over year. This is typical for this time of year to see less homes hitting the market and obviously less homes um, going under contract. What this means for you, if you're a buyer, look, that's a almost, you know, that's a $1,200 or sorry, 1200 home differential as far as properties going under, con under contract, anyone's hitting. There's actually sometimes it's better to shop this time of year than it is in the spring when there's this ma massive frenzy. In fact, most sellers right now are a little bit more willing to negotiate. And maybe if they're not willing to negotiate, they're going to be a little bit smarter about the entry price. So you may not have you may have to pay full price, but you're probably going to get a good price on it because people aren't going, oh, it's, you know, this frenzied market, you know, because they're looking at this going, there's more competition. I got to price myself smart. And so that's what you see what happens. Um, you know, this is a great report. If you want me to set up you on a specific report, just like this for your home, I can do that. It's super simple. Um, you know, what's nice is you can kind of see where all the homes are at here in the Phoenix market. You can zoom in, zoom out. Um, I can do, you know, different areas. It doesn't have to specifically just be, you know, all of Phoenix. I can go in here and let's see, I can do another one. Let me just create one here for Gilbert real quick. That's where I live. So that's easy for me to, you know, put together and I can just do, let's see, all Gilbert, Arizona, boom. And then I can do that same report. And then you can see, and I like doing this cause it's like, well, why not compare and contrast and then jump over and pop this one on. And so you can see in Gilbert, we're seeing 424,000 is the average sales price. So it's a little bit higher than Phoenix. Average days on market is 35 days. So these things are, you know, getting scooped up pretty quick, but that's a 22% decrease. So it's taking just a little bit longer. I mean, I'd still be ecstatic with 35 days on market. Um, it's nothing to, you know, bat an eye on. Once again, more new homes hitting the market that are going under contract. If you're shopping in Gilbert right now, it's a good time to do it because the ratios are in your favor. There's just not as many people looking to buy and yet there's still people looking to sell. And you'll get some really good bargains this time of year because you typically see when you're looking at a pricing spike, it spikes, you know, come, you know, you start to see the closing spike happen in like February and it goes all the way through like October, November. And then you, it kind of flattens out a little bit the last three months, you know, that November, December, and then January. So you see more of a flattening out of prices right now and then it'll shoot back up come February. Um, you know, and this is not showing any signs of slowing down from everything that I'm reading. And it doesn't necessarily, when I say not slowing down, I'm not talking about like continuing this massive run up, but it, it's just staying, you know, in this healthy spot where, you know, I personally like to see more homes hitting the market that are going under contract, mainly because it creates less of a sense of urgency 
not that's probably not the right way to say it, but it creates less of a sense of um, uh, scarcity, I guess, in properties that are available and causes less of a run up. I'd like to see home prices move slowly. I like them to see them move up, but I, I don't like to see them get so crazy to where it becomes completely unaffordable and then that causes its own bubble. So we're still inside of a pricing area based off of you know um, interest rates, based off of income, based off of the job reports, based off of all the other stuff that says that you know that the Phoenix marketplace overall is still a very affordable place, especially when you compare it to other parts of the country um, to live. And so, you know, you can look at that and say, okay, well, let's look at, you know, let's look at Chicago. So let's do that here real quick because we can. And we're going to look at, and I'm just going to do this real quick. And let's look at Chicago, at the city, and we'll just, we'll run it up to, you know what, we'll run the whole MLS area over there as much as we can. Yeah, so this will take us from, you can see where I'm, this will take us from to the Wisconsin border all the way out into Indiana. So this will give us a good idea of the Chicago land area and show you what's going on there in comparison to, and we'll compare it to Phoenix, not necessarily Gilbert, because this is a big overall view. And then this will be the big overall view for, and this is loading up here real quick. And while it's loading up, we'll just kind of hang out because there's it's pulling a lot of data. So there's a lot. The population in the Chicagoland area in a 50-mile radius has a lot more homes and a lot more data to look at and pull than the Phoenix market. You know, we're the fifth largest marketplace. Um, that cannot be right. Um, average list price of 1359. Um, there must be some major outliers in there. That's, and remember, this is all based off of the last 30 days of data, but you can see... Yeah, there's a couple of millions in here. Um, that's got to be a glitch, but whatever. We'll take a look at it. The rest of this is, you know, 55 days in the market. We're seeing that once again, kind of the same type of spread where we're seeing, you know, the amount of new homes versus sold homes. It's, you know, it's very similar from that percent per, you know, perspective. I just got to, like I said, take a look at that um, that data. And so you look at this here, and it gives you the median, which is always better because this is average. Median is going to give you more of that like middle ground. So let's compete, compare that. So in the Chicagoland market, the median price is 315. In Phoenix, the median is 375. So the Phoenix market's actually pen, you know, pushing higher. Um, even though if you get closer into, if you, if I was to pull, so this is a 50 mile radius from the city of Chicago. If I was to drop it to like a 20 mile radius, you would see that dramatically go up. Because um, once you get out in the outskirts, you're starting to, inside this 50 mile radius, you're talking farmland, you're talking, you know, older neighborhoods, you know, smaller houses, turn of the century, you know, even like 1950s homes, smaller build, you know, kind of post-World War II type neighborhoods that were just, you know, laid out real fast and, you know, smaller houses. So they're just going for less money. So it's more of a, you know, kind of a justification of where you're seeing that. So this is a better numbers to look at. So anyways, um, that's kind of been a nutshell what's going on in the market. Uh, I'm going to see something real quick if this ever refreshed. It did not. So, oh, it did. Um, so, yeah, look, you can see gold is taking a bloodbath. You know, it, in the last two days, it was up to like 15, 15, 25 or something like that. So it's dropped like, you know, $50 um, per ounce in the last, you know, really just the last, you know, since Monday. And we're here on Thursday. So that's kind of an interesting thing to see. Stock market goes crazy. The dollar is really strong as with, you know, I've read. And so you start to see that. So anyways, if you have any questions on any of this stuff, please feel free to reach out. I've got the, a link here in this that can show you a little bit of information. You can request these reports. I can create these things for you custom related to your house, your neighborhood, your town, whatever it is that you want. And, you know, it can go from there. So Reach out if you have any questions. You know, we always love referrals. Um, you know, I woke up this morning to another great referral from a, a past client. You know, her mom's going to be moving into the area, and I'm super excited about talking to her and helping them out. You know, referrals are the lifeblood of our business, so we really, we really appreciate it. You know, anytime we get a phone call from you and, you know, you show, it's, you know, show us that you trust us enough to <laughs> refer us to your mom. So thank you, Tom, for that. And, you know, we're here to serve, and we're here to help. Have a great rest of your day.